Today we're going to be going over how to fix lagging and crashing in the game Star Wars Outlaws. So first things first, if you go to Ubisoft Connect, you can actually go down to Star Wars Outlaws, click that like properties that gear button, and go to verify files. If the game's crashing, a lot of the time there's an improper download, you can verify the files. If something's off, sometimes you can fix it, but a lot of times you just have to reinstall the game. That is going to solve a lot of crashing issues. So yeah, if, that, if you're if you're crashing, that's probably the best solution that I've got for you. Reinstalling, restarting the computer, those are all good things that you can do. If you're on PS5, running in performance mode is pretty good, but if it's crashing, you just gotta wait for an update. If you're on the PC, you can also update your drivers because that does help a lot of the time. Now what we're gonna be doing is going into some of the settings that you need to have set if you wanna reduce lag in Star Wars Outlaws. And if you're wondering, is it all just the graphic settings? No, it is not. So obviously you can go to the graphics settings and you can just set that quality all the way down to a low. That's going to help, that's gonna reduce things. All this stuff, it doesn't really matter too much. Obviously, NVIDIA RTX Direct Lighting should be off if you want to reduce lag, but setting everything to low, that is going to help you the most. If we go into here, let's just go into sort of the advanced graphics mode. There's a lot of stuff that you can play with here. The fog blur that actually, from my experience, it seems like that can actually almost, it can help and it can hurt depending on the particle density and all that because Fog sometimes does reduce the draw distance, and that can actually give your system a little bit of a boost. So if you get into fog and it's causing lag, turn it off. But if it's not, probably just leave it as is. Otherwise, turning down shadow quality is pretty good. Deformable terrain, all that is obviously going to help a ton. The distance, that's a big one too, especially when you're in those wide open areas. Loading things in later, that's always going to help because there's less stuff that needs to be loaded in. Ray tracing, that's a huge one. If you reduce that all the way, that's going to help a ton. Otherwise, that's pretty, pretty much all you need to know when it comes to graphics. Low is good, high is bad. If you're wondering, do people sometimes have questions or problems where they didn't do that? Yes, they do. Now, we're going to go into the next setting, which is videos. So this is where a lot of people sort of get things wrong. First off, if you're having issues with the game crashing, Sometimes changing the window settings, that actually does work going from window, borderless window, or exclusive full screen, that actually does help, I've noticed. Now, when you switch to windows or exclusive full screen, you're going to get to play with the resolution. This is actually very important. So if you're having an issue with the, the game running and just lagging, one of the things you can do is actually bump that resolution all the way down as low as you're willing to put it. Bumping the resolution down does actually help a lot when it comes to lag because it's just less stuff for the game to load in. There's things like DLSS that do sort of improve things because what's happening with DLSS is things are loading in at a lower scale and being upscaled to the resolution that you're selecting. So those technologies do help with resolution. The higher your resolution set, the more DLSS is going to help. But if you just reduce everything to the lowest resolution possible, that's going to help even more. There's also this technology right here, NVIDIA Reflex. So you can use this to reduce system latency. Um, I honestly, I haven't had too much luck with this, but some people swear by it. And one last thing that a lot of people miss, it would be in the gameplay settings. If you go here, what you're gonna find is down here, you've got a street, screen shake intensity, a view angle, and a view angle when aiming. If you reduce your view angle all the way to 75, that is going to help. I know some people, they're going to push it up all the way to 115, and they think it doesn't affect the game, but it does, because when you push it up, the field of view is larger, so there's more stuff to load. If you drop it all the way down to 75, that is going to help things run a little bit smoother. Personally, I like to do 90, but to each their own, and it is going to help. If you get anything that I missed, please feel free to post it down below. I'm going to pin at least one comment that has some nice fixes in it. Thank you so much for watching. Keep up your spirits. And until next time, peace.